Looking to yeah, only start exactly. with something. Yeah. Mm. Okay, let's shall we talk about Dot? Absolutely. Okay, Dot, shall we look back at your chart um, a few weeks ago? This is four weeks ago. Now, the area is creativity again. Again, creativity. Health and I and fitness. think very often with people, creativity is a place to start. It's a really good place. Um, those of us who are in creative careers, um, happiness is much easier. But, but Dot, because she isn't, had forgotten about all the creative things that she used to do as a young woman when she was feeling much happier and more confident. Health and fitness, again, that, I think that will come because the create, one of the creative things was, was dancing, that Dot loves doing is dancing. And I think as she starts bringing that back into her life, um, she'll just start feeling great about her body and she'll start moving it mm. more and using it more. But that's actually clever because instead of just sending her you know, into the gym to do weights, you actually took the creative side of her and matched the creative and the health and fitness together. Absolutely, and it's something that anyone can do. And it's not. This is not a vast expense to go to a, a local evening class and just start. So, when you in talking to Dot, what changes have you seen? Oh, I think Dot is just so knows that her attitude to life has changed, and she's brought back who she was. I mean, she was this. I mean, as you can see, she's totally vibrant. She's a live wire, and it just sort naughty of... little minx <laughs> under there. <laughs> That's coming out. Yeah. What, what, I mean, I was talking to you last week. Uh, what, are the, what are the big changes that have come out for you? Um, how I feel about me. And that, that's one of the things that I, that I learned most about this project, is that I was always worried about what other people thought about me. And I don't care. It doesn't bother me anymore. It's how I feel about me. And it's the word confidence. Mm. It's, I, I feel my confidence is coming back big time and I have t just totally enjoyed the whole experience of the whole lot. And is that just this process or what, what leads that confidence to coming back to you? Well I mean it can be as simple as you know getting good night's sleep um, mm -hmm. and, and, and doing something creative and I think Dot's in a place where a lot of us are with, with children leaving home and again we, we worked on something that will help Dot remind Dot of her son that's leaving um, and that you know things like that just putting things in place to protect you in okay. a way mm -hmm. and you will be you know we're all unhappy at times but it's just it's just having the balance different can we check out because I, I know you guys are sort of saying that you're happier can we check out your mm -hmm. charts today and see if you really are yeah. we'll check out again this was the balance chart that we're seeing but we've converted it into a, um, a, a bar chart okay this is Glenn this is Glenn before now let's see the difference Okay, wow, creativity. I was trying to work it out there. So before <laughs> is green too. and red <laughs> is after. Okay, so creativity is shot up, Glenn. Yeah, it's gone up a lot now. Yeah. And that's just because you're doing it. You haven't written the book. You no, haven't, I haven't done it. You've for a magazine. Yeah, it's just because something. I've started it and I, kinda, I know where I'm going now with it. So that's, you know, I feel more creative than I was, we'll say, a month ago when I started. So, yeah. It's incredible. So mm. you don't have to actually reach the goal for the pleasure to start mm -hmm. and for yeah. the enjoyment to start. Exactly. You just, and when, once you started, once you're on the road, that's it, you know, it, your creativity kind of shoots up, like you said. Okay. You know? it's, it's sort of having hope. I think mm. hope is incredibly important. And often when we are depressed, hope goes. And it's one of those things that you want to, to put, bring back and put in place. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's, yeah. That sounds sensible. Yeah. Okay, let's look at Dot. We'll see Dot before again four weeks ago. And then the red will come in for now. And again, creativity is shot up, Dot. Health and fitness is shot Everything. So home fam, life family. is up. That was a big thing for you. You've been okay. seeing less of family, presumably. It's the only one that's gone down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so but it sounds like she's enjoying yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask you both very quickly? You were asked in the very, at, at the beginning to keep a diary, which basically yeah. identified things that went well every day, your achievements that you had every day, goals every day. How has that been going? Has it been useful? I have found it incredibly useful. It's, it's well, not, well, useful. It, it, it's very bla kind of a, a blasé word, but I found that it was absolutely brilliant because you can have a thought and it's gone. Whereas if you write it down, you can read back over and say, oh God, yeah, I remember feeling like that. And how did I deal getting out of that situation? And So I just felt, and writing it down is great therapy as well. Mm. Yes. Because if, so if there's something, something going on in your head to actually get it out of your head and onto paper, that's it. Does it change you in terms of how, does it make you slightly happier? Does it make you appreciate your life exactly, more? Exactly, yeah. It makes you focus on what you have or what you're doing or, you know, it kind of makes you appreciate, like you said, what you, what you, if you set small goals for yourself, it kind of keeps you on top of it, if you know what I mean. 
Whereas if you don't write it down, if you don't say this is my goal, you kind of it can just you can forget about it. Yeah. And, you know. Whereas it makes you focus and concentrate on your smaller goals. Okay. And eventually it gets your your bigger goals. You know. Well, so. good on you all. Keep it up. I hope, I hope long may it continue. Thank you very much for coming in. We, we'll have all the details um, mm. on our website. Um, so, <laughs> I mean, the question is for you, where would you come if you measured yourself on the happiness levels on that uh, balance chart? Mm. You can find out. We'll have the balance chart on the website. We have all the details on the website of how you fill it out. We have the diary, the details of what you put in your diary every, every evening. We also have all the hints and tips that Nina has given us over the last few weeks all in an effort to make you happier yourself so you can work out where the areas that you need to improve are for yourself all on our website there. Thank you all very much. Thank, thank you. Shana. And thank you and well done. Thank you. Excellent stuff. Lana.